How much space do you need to train your retriever? Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy where you can learn to train your retriever with our online videos. So if you have a hunting dog or you're thinking about getting a hunting dog and you want to train it to go with you and hunt, then you're probably wondering, do I have enough space? Do I have enough uh, land or do I have enough water to make sure that my dog can reach its full potential? And that's a really great question to be asking because that tells me that you wanna make sure that your dog can become all that it can be. That in addition to one other thing are some of the most important things to consider when training your retriever. At CGA, we have members from all over the country and really all over the world, from rural country areas to suburbs and even the cities. And they do an incredible job of making sure that their dog reaches its full potential by maximizing what they have available to them. In fact, I wanted to share with you how they take what they have available to them and how they make the most of it. So I reached out to our CGA members and I asked them two specific questions. How much land and how much water do you have to train on? And then how do you find places to train? And then how do you maximize what you do have available to you? Now, I got a ton of answers, as you can imagine, because we have members from different backgrounds, different locations, different regions, but there was one common theme in all of the answers, and that was they make the most of what they do have available to them, whether they have loads of land, tons of acres, or whether they live in the city and they have to get creative and find places to train. Amy actually said it this way, she said that she looks for new places to train often, but she also utilizes existing locations differently. And I thought that was a great point that you can take what you have while you're constantly trying to find other places and constantly trying to find new places to train, but you can take what you have and you can make the most of it, which is an important key. So the theme that I got from everyone was maximize what you do have available to you. Whether you just have a soccer field close by and on the weekends you need to travel, maybe travel a little bit further, an hour, even if you had to travel that far, it would be worth it because you can travel and close by during the week and then you can actually go further for bigger setups later, or maybe you have everything close by to you. But the big thing is maximizing what you do have available to you. So great work CGA members and thank you for sharing your responses. But there's one thing that's even more important than actually the land you have to train on. And it's gonna make a lot of sense, it's you. You are the most important part to this process. You could have access to all of the best equipment. You could have access to acres upon acres of land, technical ponds. You could have access to everything and even have the best dog out there as far as breeding goes. But if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know how to take your dog from where it's at and help it unlock that potential, then it's really irrelevant. All that great stuff is not going to help you. But if you actually develop yourself and you invest in yourself and your education and understand the skills and you make sure that you help your dog reach its full potential, then you're gonna be a lot better off. Just like your dog has potential that it has to be trained in order for it to unlock, you have potential and you need to develop yourself and be willing to invest in yourself. And one of the best ways to do that is investing in your education. Now there's tons of ways that you can invest in your education as far as retriever training goes. There's lots of ways, but one thing to keep in mind is you need something that you can do on your own time. We're all busy, we all have a lot of things going on. So if you wanna make the most of it and really streamline that process, you need something that you can access pretty much 24 seven on demand whenever it makes sense for you. Now fortunately for you, our, on our online courses are 24 seven on demand access. You can access them in a time that makes sense for you. And when we built our courses, we built them with you in mind in a way that helps you develop your skills as a handler, helps you learn the whole process of how to train a dog, how to take your dog from where it's at to where you want it to be. All it takes from you is commitment and investing the time. So not only investing in yourself, but investing the time in yourself to make sure that you can grow and become a great handler. You'll need to do this whether you train the dog completely yourself or whether you get it back from a trainer if you utilize the services of a pro. Because if you send it off to a pro and then you get it back but you don't know what to do from there, then all of that money you spent there can essentially start to waste away. And no one wants that to happen. So with all of that in mind, the land is important. Making sure that you find places is important. But the most important thing about that is maximizing what you have available to them. And then also making sure that you invest in yourself and grow because that's what this is about. Your dog's gonna grow and you're gonna grow. So if you're interested in investing in yourself and you haven't done that yet or you don't have or know exactly a place to do that, then our online courses are a great place to start. You can click the link below this video and get started today. And if you're already doing that, then get out, try to find some new places to train and then think about some creative ways that you can maximize what you already have available to you.